Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about my favorite piece of audio gear. Okay, so most of you know that audio is 50% of your video. If you have bad audio, the video is not gonna be tolerable to watch. So I've tested many microphones throughout the years and usually the more affordable or cheaper options don't yield the best result. And this is when I discovered the Tascam DR-10L. Now I've had this little guy for about a year now and it's been absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna cover today all the features that I love and a few of the ones that I don't. So first, it comes in this really cool case with a microphone and a windscreen, which I unfortunately lost, and some cool headphones, which we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, so let's talk about the form factor to compare this to the Rode Link system. The Tascam is significantly smaller, but I have to say it feels really solid and professional, unlike the Rode Link system. It feels really cheap and plasticky. And the Tascam is less than half of the price of the Rode Link coming in at $180 at the time that I'm filming this video. So one of the awesome things that I love about the Tascam is that it's a recorder, it's not a wireless system. A lot of times when you go into a room where there's a lot of cell phones or there's a lot of Wi-Fi connections, you get interference if you have a wireless system. The cool thing about this is that it records everything into a micro SD card. It has an awesome little LCD that you could change all your settings, which leads me into the next cool feature. It offers dual recording. You could set how high or how low you want the gain to be on each track. This makes it so if someone decides to scream or talk louder than the recording, it's not ruined because you have a second recording, but at a lower decibel. And this has saved me so many times in the past. Another cool feature is that you have the option to break apart your tracks. So sometimes you may have a recording that's for an hour and you just need a small piece of that recording. It breaks it up into small tracks that you could select instead of listening to the entire recording. And because it's a recorder, you don't necessarily have to use it with a microphone. You could also plug it into a soundboard or a computer at an event and you could get audio from that which makes it super flexible for any situation, really. Okay, so there's only one thing that I really don't like about this system is the mic that it comes with. It's not really a great mic, it's an okay mic. So I decided to switch to the Rode Lav mic, and one of the cool things that Rode offers is this rubber piece that goes around the microphone, and it helps to mitigate that rustling sound that you hear when you're trying to hide a microphone under someone's shirt. That's a really big difference and it really helps when you're trying to get good audio in a quick situation. Also, it takes one AAA battery and it comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. This means you can record all day. I put this on a groom and hit record and it recorded the entire wedding from start to finish, about eight hours of recording. And like I said earlier, it comes with headphones, which is a definite plus that they are included. Now, they're not the best headphones for editing, but for monitoring audio, they're great. There are so many audio options out there and new ones coming out every day. But I can honestly say that this has helped me and been super reliable. And considering it's such a budget-friendly option and all the features it offers, I definitely recommend it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video helped you. And if it did, please leave a like and please consider subscribing. I'm gonna be putting out more videos on audio and video and editing all types of good stuff coming soon. So please check it out, hit that bell and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.